Greetings and salutations, how's everybody doing? And unfortunately, this is only the fourth, wait, isn't this? Yeah, this is only fourth film in Medea. And I've still got, I think, uh, I think seven more. Wait, no, no, I got a few more. Yeah, I got a few more I gotta do, plus the animated movie. I need to get things into the top gear. So, today's the film we're gonna watch is Medea Goes to Jail. And the film was directed by Tyler Perry, of course. The film was released in the year 2009. The film had a budget of 17.5 million dollars and a box office of 90.5 million dollars. And before I get into this, I'm gonna just say this. I saw this ba this film back in 2009. I saw this with my best friend Brandon, and yeah, I'm still in the too, because you know this is the first Medea film I've saw in theaters. So you know, that's one thing about this is like one of the films I saw in theaters and just have fond memories of it. However, looking back at it, <sighs> sorry, dropping the tablet. Let's just get into it. Medea, uh, so the plot of Medea, Medea goes to jail because, this is probably making people laugh at me for dropping these things. Medea goes to jail because of, ang of her anger management and a, dist a district attorney is trying to help a woman from this past. The cast includes Todd Perry as Medea, Mabel Simmons, Uncle, Uncle Joe, and Brian and Brian. Derek Luke as Joshua Hardway, Keisha Knight Pullman and as Candace Candy Washington Collins, Ian Overman as Linda Davis, Tamala Mann as Cora Simmons, David Mann as Mr. Brown, Ron Roca Lee as Chuck, Viola Davis as Ellen St. Matthews, Vanessa Ferlito as Donna. And Sophia Vergara as TT, Bobby Baker as Tanya, Jackson Walker as Mr. Brackman, and Robin Coleman as Big Sal. And uh, let me see who was it again. Um, so I'm gonna give you give some positive, I guess. So the film opens up. The title of the film shows like Medea's past of trouble she has been. Heck, she was even an escort. Her name being Platinum. And I gotta say, for the humor of Medea, it's actually pretty good. Um, some of the good things still is Mr. Brown. He's not as annoying. Um, he's a bit subdued, and lines he given are funny. Like say that like when he's when he's throwing wine at uh, a prostitute, or when uh, say when he says like I'm trying to pray for you, and then Medea's like God don't like you, Brown. He grew you in a petri dish. That is the one line I can remember from this film. Um, like some one of the, some of the things is I just kind of think okay, the character of Linda. Uh, Josh, Josh's own fiance. I guess she, she, yeah, she's snooty. But in the same time, to, I think it would have been nicer for the film if we'd actually like real had seen like okay, what is their relationship like, like in the past? Cause like the film starts off and then we just go like oh hey they're a couple they're about to get married and this thing like okay. Like, now the moment, I'm just thinking, like, okay, like, it would have been nice to show, like, what, how, like, have they always been this great couple and all that. Um, I like Medea's reaction when she, when she gets out of the, out of the court and then when, uh, court says, like, so when are we, so we're going to church on Sunday and then she goes, like, I ain't going to no church. 
And then, oh, the joke of Medea being a man returns in the film. One of the, the sequence of when the when J Joe has that party at his house, and the use of the song Superfly, it makes me si a smile, man, because that song is great. I, I love Superfly. And I also kind of thought the scene when she when she pulls out her gun and she and then Mr. Brown like runs out of the house and I kept on thinking like that could have been a moment where they said okay we we discovered a bit of disturbance in the house we got a we got a call in for use of gunfire that would have been that could have been something she got arrested for um Medea doing reverse psychology on Doctor Phil that sequence is kind of funny. Um, I gotta say the greatest moment of the film is when Medea flips, um, the shoppers or the Karen's car. They, she, I mean, of course she's crazy, but yeah, the, the, that lady kind of deserved it. Um, some of the things I said, fine, okay, here's the things that just... Looking back at it, it's fine, okay. The dramatic aspects are okay. But, to be honest, the characters of Josh and Candace and Linda, the two, uh, the two, romantically, uh, two romantic characters that Josh is with, I mean, you know, he is, has romantic interest in, it feels like none of these characters, the, the, it doesn't seem like there's much of a, uh, I'm trying to think the word, chemistry. There doesn't seem much of a chemistry, like, say, since there was no backstory, like, say, hey, the, the backstory, like, say, okay, these characters have some history, you know, how the fact that they're getting married. Well, it would have been nice to, like, say, like, show how over the years they, Josh, because it shows, like, sequences of, like, Josh always saying yes. It would have been nice if they showed some more times, like, when, uh, Linda is just this snooty princess. Because there's only one use of, uh, use of that line, but it seems like, say, like this sequence of, like, say, if you had lived on the streets like Candy, Candace did, then you understand, and I'm just saying, like, say, could we actually get more backstory of Linda so we can learn about her character? And I gotta say, the cinematography for the film is alright. And I gotta say, the reason for Josh being so protective of Candace is really strong. Uh, the cameos like Dr. Phil, Judge Mathis, The View, um, and heck, even um, the sequence when Medea gets arrested, that's pretty funny. Um, and also the sequence of when... How and... Uh, Especially, I got to see the big dramatic moment for Josh is when he's revealing why uh, he cared so much about Can uh, Can Candace because of he feels responsible for what happened to her. I mean, it's pretty good. It's really good. It's really strong. Um, but like, I, but like I said, there's not much of a like a the romance, I mean, there's romance, but it doesn't feel like there's much chemistry. So, it works, I suppose, but it's not, like, it's, doesn't seem, it just seems like all these characters, they seem, there's romantic moments, but it doesn't seem very, you know, you don't see much of a connection, because you're more... You're sh you're told more instead of shown, but you know the the thing about uh, film make filmmaking is show, don't tell. Like when she says, like say, hey, 
uh, Linda is a bit of a princess. Although, the only time you can feel, okay, yeah, she is just a princess and like wants to get to the top is when it's revealed that she, she has faked all these uh, things of to get all the arrests of these people and all that. But yeah, a bit on all honesty, this film is still nostalgic for me. But looking back at it, I gotta say the romantic, I mean, the chemistry between the romantic aspects isn't that very strong. And that's just me being honest for a person who saw this as, you know, a teenager and kind of who, you know, this was kind of my first introduction to. Medea. But what are your thoughts? Do you like Medea Goes to Jail? Do you dislike it? Do you prefer to play over this one? Put your thoughts in the comments down below and let me know. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.